Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, caches, caches of the Zabbix and specifically about the uh, configuration cache and uh, the feature itself which came up quite a long time ago with the release of the Zabbix 6.2 which introduced just some changes in how the configuration cache is treated inside Zabbix which might seem initially as something not very big because if we would go back to the what's new of the Zabbix 6.2 it can be found found in the Zabbix performance improvements and internal changes where we can see that configuration cache will support incremental updates and the new configuration synchronization logic greatly improves performance on large Zabbix instance. So first of all, like what a configuration cache is and why exactly this should and is um, quite a big thing for Zabbix installations, especially if those are quite big in terms of like many items, many hosts and many triggers. So you should know already if you're working with a Zabbix that everything that you do in the front end in terms like adding some new hosts or adding some new items, templates, which will also have some items, triggers, low level discovery rules that will again create some more items and triggers. When you do that in the front end, it does not directly go to the Zabbix server to check data for those new items. All the information that you add here goes inside a database and before Zabbix 6.2 it is pulled up by the server and specifically we're talking about, uh, let me check, uh, we're talking about a configuration sinker which is present both on the server and on the proxies as well. So by default what the Zabbix server does, it checks the well, it, it, it knows the config file and uh, there is a parameter. Uh, let me cache update frequency. Yeah, so how often does Abix will perform the configuration cache update? And by default, it is stated 60 seconds. So once per minute, Zabbix server and specifically the configuration syncer will connect to the database to which it is already connected and request all the configuration that we have inside our database. Not only the ones that we just added in the front end in terms of like host items or whatever else, but absolutely everything that we have in our installation. And as long as we go with a small installations, some hundreds, maybe thousand of the hosts, it is not a big issue. But when we reach quite impressive numbers in, ter in terms of all that we are monitoring, this process can start to take some time. And then if we check our Zabbix server log file from time to time, you could potentially see slow queries triggered by the Zabbix, uh, probably these ones. So these would be responsible to populate the configuration from the database to the Zabbix server. And then we start to notice that whenever this slow query is taking like 10, 20, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, it is also affecting the performance of your Zabbix server. As example, some uh, history syncers start to struggle new data coming in is uh, showing some gaps and overall the things are pretty bad. So why is it happening? Like based on our config file, by default, we're pulling the data from the database every minute. And when the data grows so much that it is taking like 30 seconds, maybe even 40 seconds to populate the configuration cache. And as soon as it is done after 10, 15, 20 seconds, it starts over again. And of course it is affecting the performance of your Zabbix installation. And the only thing that could be done in, in the past was just to increase the cache update frequency to two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes even 30 minutes. And it sort of works, like it is still pulling the config every every 30 minutes and it is taking like 40 seconds to do that, but at least there are not so many frequent cycles that is affecting the performance of the Zabbix server. And that's it, you, that basically was the only thing that you could do. But right now with this new thing of the Zabbix 6.2, the configuration cache supports incremental updates, which means that upon the start of our Zabbix server, 
all the configuration from our database is pulled inside a configuration cache of the Zabbix. And then only when we change something here, like I don't know, add a new item or whatever, it will still take around a minute to for the Zabbix server to grab information about this new item from the database. But the difference is that it will grab only information about this newly created item, not the whole bunch of configuration that we're storing in our database. Therefore, these queries are running in a couple of seconds, probably, and not like 30, 40. So starting with this Abix 6.2, it allows us to, again, if you are the owner of the big installation, open your config file and change your uh, config update frequency from let's say 30 minutes or whatever back to the default value of one minute and what's the benefit the benefit of course is like whenever you're adding some new configuration let's say you again add this item you don't have to wait those 30 minutes it will basically start collecting the data after a minute of course you always could just run zabbix server minus capital r config cache reload and manually trigger this configuration sync but again it means that you must have access to the cli of your zabbix server you must must have a root permissions to actually trigger the config cache reload and still if you're adding one item you trigger the config cache reload then you add another item oh i need to do that again maybe i made some mistake and i need to trigger config cache reload again so it again and again and again puts a load on your database first of all and also the configuration uh, configuration sinker and a configuration cache which is being locked upon the population which is preventing it for being accessed by other internal processes of the Zabbix which is affecting your health so not your health of course but the health of the Zabbix server so starting from the 6.2 this problem is resolved and also in terms of like configuration cache things there is another improvement for the proxies and synchronize Zabbix proxy configuration from the Zabbix frontend, which could be a big deal for, as example, some MSPs who are monitoring their customers across different environments, different regions, whatever, through their own centralized Zabbix server, which is located in their headquarters. And whenever something new is being added or some mistakes are being fixed, we need to wait when the Zabbix proxy will pick up the configuration from the Zabbix server. And that is happening by default once per hour. But if we want to trigger it in case of the active proxies, we of course could also do the same Zabbix proxy minus R config cache reload. But it means that we must have an access to the location where this proxy is installed. And if it is our environment, it's probably not a big deal. But if it is environment of our customer, they might not be happy with the thing that we're constantly logging in into their environment, logging to the Zabbix proxy and manually resetting the config. So right now, in the Zabbix 6.2, what we can do is go to the administration section proxies where you should have all of your proxies listed that are being up and running with last seen, probably monitoring some data. And whenever you need to trigger this configuration reload, you can do that straight from the front end. So there, there is a new button, refresh configuration, and you need to actually verify that yes, it is what I can do, what I want to do, because again, clicking this 10, 20, 50 times will force the proxy to grab all the configuration, what it has to monitor from the Zabbix server. In the 6.2, the Zabbix server knows how to do the incremental monitoring, proxy does not. Proxy still is collecting all the config it has every time the configuration sync is happening. But it is a good thing for uh, future. So we can go to Zabbix roadmap and check what is planned for the Zabbix 6.4 and it is listed here instant update of configuration changes all configuration changes will be immediately pushed to all the proxies and agents and also more efficient deliver of configuration data which basically means the same incremental update for the proxies so instead of grabbing full configuration of each separate proxy all the time you click this button of uh, refresh configuration 
every new created item that you create in the front end will be automatically pushed to the proxy, which means that basically there's no, there's not going to be a big need to click this refresh configuration. So it comes quite a helpful, first of all, starting with a Zabbix 6.2 to the big installations, which we're experiencing some issues and problems caused by very slow configuration update. And in terms of some MSP managed uh, environments, whatever, where you have hundreds of the proxies in different regions, customers, environments, what so on. Everything right now can be triggered from the front end and starting from the Zabbix 6.4, which will be released quite soon. Uh, you won't actually have to do that that frequently because every new created item will be pushed to the proxy automatically. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys as usually for watching and we'll see you later. Goodbye.